monogamy. Admittedly, not a natural state of affairs for uh, the human species. In fact, here too we see how uh, men intervene upon nature in order to take uh, advantage of certain energies and to direct the uh, human fate. Although monogamy is not natural to man, nevertheless the establishment of monogamy as an institution uh, enabled the uh, creation of civilizations. How did it do that? Well, by uh, ensuring that a man had a sexual partner and an avenue towards passing on his uh, genes it released him from this constant obsession over pussy over uh, females this constant talk this constant conflict with other males concerning what females want what females need what females are thinking what females are about how to get females how to uh, avoid uh, being taken by females and so on so monogamy pretty much uh, establishes a uh, a rule a cap using morals and law and peer pressure and tradition it puts a cap on human behavior uh, not allowing it to uh, dissipate and to dissolve into constant conflict and bickering If we see nature in nature where there is no uh, such institution amongst the animals the males are in constant conflict over uh, who controls the females and who copulates with the females by establishing monogamy not only are men integrated within the system as I said in another video but the males are released from this constant talk and thinking about sex they already have a sexual partner at home and they all already have a way to uh, pass on their genes at home so they need not occupy their time with this this releases their mental energies to be focused upon uh, more creative uh, directions art politics philosophy innovation and we can see the the results of uh, the uh, the standard of monogamy being eradicated and the family being eliminated as a as a foundation for civilization uh, all around us if we look around us what do we see constant talk about women about pussy about sex a constant obsession with sex because sex though it's everywhere it's still not fulfilling and not uh, accessible to all outside of uh, artificial means or uh, such as pornography or prostitution and such and this unfulfilling nature of sex the way it uh, has been reduced in modern systems is due to the fact that it no longer has any meaning any purpose it's no longer about uh, creating new life or passing on uh, a bloodline or an idea in the past a man used a woman the woman was the means for him to pass on his genes to for him to uh, pay homage to his ancestors to worship his ancestors to thank his ancestor, ancestors in other words to thank his past for creating him and this is no longer the case now sex is a, a game uh, a pastime a hedonistic escape a release nothing else so everything dissipates re is reduced to a, a cabal a, an orgy full of sexual imagery full of uh, uh, obscene images and yet no substance everywhere we see sex in our system and yet all of it is unfulfilling unsatisfying lacking in content 
So we might say that uh, feminism was the first step towards uh, the eradication of uh, the family unit and the eradication of uh, the elimination of uh, the biological male as a viable entity within the system. Because without the family unit, not all men could be integrated within the system. So most of them were, uh, are now pushed to the periphery, are made irrelevant. Uh, they are made uh, non-participatory. They have no investment in the system since they have no access to, uh, to procreation. They have no access to females to pass on their genes. So this makes them indifferent to the system and destructive. In order to deal with this, like I said in another video, all kinds of uh, modern methods are used, more sophisticated methods. Uh, outside of brainwashing and the training you get from education, you have the venting mechanisms of uh, sports or living vicariously through movies, particularly pornography. To use an analogy, the, emasculate, the emancipation of females would be the same as uh, the de-domestication of animals. For instance, if a, a farmer releases all his domesticated uh, herd from the, his barns, then he has nothing to eat. This forces upon him the necessity to go hunting. Now his time is occupied with going out every day to hunt for his food, whereas before it was there, uh, ready for him, easily accessible to him, so he could feed himself and then he could focus on other matters. There is, of course, a naturally occurring uh, form of monogamy, even within a species uh, um, such as a human being, a more promiscuous species. And this form of monogamy is one based on the uh, female's intellectual level. I will explain. Since the female is always seeking for superior to her uh, genes, whether uh, she perceives it as being uh, physical or mental symmetry. And uh, she's always looking for what is above her. She, she finds power uh, or what is superior attractive. Uh, this becomes a more difficult uh, affair for a woman that's of a certain intellectual level because in relation to her, most men are inferior. This uh, forces upon her a dilemma or a compromise. Or, if she's lucky enough to find a man, one of those rare men that are, are superior to her, she will be reluctant to abandon him because she would not have many other options. Uh, for her, uh, having sex or copulating with an inferior man would be like uh, having sex with an animal, with a beast. And this is the only instance I can think of where monogamy uh, within the human species occurs uh, naturally and normally. Other, outside of this, all other monogamy has to be enforced. It has to be enforced upon a species that is not monogamous. And, of course, monogamy can take many forms, such as polygamy, but still the, uh, the root, the, the, the purpose is the same. That is to limit uh, a man's promiscuity, but more so a female's promiscuity, since it's the female who can get pregnant. And with this, to integrate as many males as possible within the system, make them uh, investors within it, but more so to free them from uh, sexual competitions and sexual obsession and this constant talk about sex and sexuality in females so that they can dedicate more time towards uh, other more interesting and more creative avenues.